Hey everybody, Mark Vogt with Voland Outdoors. First time shooting in two and a half weeks. I had some surgery. I couldn't, uh, abdominal surgery. Nothing scary, don't worry about that. But needed to be done, corrective surgery. And now I'm on the comeback trail. So I have literally not shot, haven't even picked up a bow in two and a half weeks. And this is the first time actually standing back here in two and a half weeks. We already know from the past that this, this, my, this is my deer, and this is my 20 meter mark that I'll be shooting at. So <laughs> you guys remember me saying you want to practice shooting cold, you want to practice without any preparation at all, things like that. Today is the day. This very first shot that you're about to see is going to be the first shot having laid on my back for two and a half weeks and never picked up a bow. No practice of any kind. We're going to see if the Voltland shooting method, those five steps, are enough that I can get a decent shot off even after that long of a hiatus between shooting and not shooting. So let me pause and go get set up and we're going to go take the shot. Be back right away. Okay, this is turning out to be trickier than I thought it was going to be because I didn't bring my tripod. Two and a half weeks, I'm out of practice. I got one of those little uh, suction cup things holding on to the edge of the phone and it's balanced way up there on the top of the, the bow rack. So watch out of the corner of the eye as I take these first shots and I hope the wind doesn't actually blow it down. Here we go, first shot ever. Step one, this is going to be, again, it's a test to see, is the Voltland shooting method in those five easy steps enough to even help me when I'm out of practice, up the tree, not ready, not warmed up, is it actually the method or is it the practice that actually is going to help me be accurate? Let's see what happens. Step one, choose my gap. Step two, here comes the deer, here comes the deer, here comes the deer. Again, I'm aiming for that that front corner right here, right underneath his armpit, right underneath his shoulder blade. That's where I'm going to be aiming. Step one, choose the gap. Step two, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Step two, draw back under the chin, and now I'm leaning into my strap, looking down the left side of the string. That's step three. Step four, tip of the arrow on the target, on the target, on the target, looking for that little dent, waiting for the shot, waiting for the shot, waiting for the shot. Step five. Oh, a very nice shot. Let's go take a look at it. Picking up the camera carefully. Let's go see what we got. Two and a half weeks out of practice. Never picked anything up. In fact, flat on my back, actually. And what do we get? We get a wonderful kill shot on the very first try when it mattered. When the shot arrived. The Voltland shooting method, those five easy to remember steps, those ones that become instinctive when the moment arrives and it's hard to think about anything else, you step right up, you're able to put the tip of the arrow right on the target. Guys, I can't stress enough how powerful that technique is. The ability to actually put, and let's look at this shot, when I pull it out, that's where the kill went, right through the heart, right through both lungs. To be able to put the tip of the arrow right smack on the target that you're aiming at. Right smack on it. Not try to guess some gap that's above, below, to the left, to the right, but right on it. it really makes a huge difference in your ability to actually come up with the shot when the moment arrives. I'm going to shoot a little bit more, but remember, I'm not shooting very much. I'm trying not to get warmed up. I feel good about this already. This is Mark, with, uh, Mark Vogt with Voltland Outdoors. It's September 30th. Tomorrow's the first day of hunting. <sighs> I don't get to go out now for two more weeks, but 
I typically don't go out until the end of October, even the beginning of November, mid-November. That's my favorite time to be out. It's cooler, you're sitting up in the trees, the leaves are falling. I don't know, I just like it better. And when you catch it, when you get a deer and you're field dressing it, you know that the, the, the air temperature is going to be cooler. You got a little bit more time to try to get it to your Jeep, try to get it to the butcher, etc., etc. That's it. Next lesson, tomorrow, I'm going to be bringing a strap in and we're going to be strapping into that tree right over there. Because the next thing we got to practice is what it feels like leaning in a harness on in a stand ready to take that shot. This is Mark Vogt with Voltland Outdoors. We'll see you out there. Bye.